Hey survivors, Tin Pony here. Um, got my Control Freaks shirt on because, not because of controllers, but because we're going to learn to control a vehicle with no hands. Yeah, baby. Okay, here's the why. I want to move a craft bot or a refined bot over the water. But the most flotation I can get is four Larrys. I can put more Larrys on it. Four Larrys, tier three wood, supposed to float and all that, and a bunch of bubble wrap, and I put the craft bot on it, and it doesn't sink, but it doesn't float, and it's really heavy. I tried pushing this with my boat, and it stank on ice it was horrible guzzled gas and I had to listen to Larry's so what we're gonna do is we're gonna modify our boat this is the front we're gonna modify our boat so we can control it without having to sit in a seat so we can actually carry something while we're controlling the boat and this will work with other vehicles, I'm sure, eventually. Somebody's going to figure it out. But water is really forgiving. We're going to use a logic gate. We're going to use four level one sensors and two level two controllers and four bearings. So we'll get rid of the seat and... I have two level 5 thrusters. I had four level 5 thrusters when I was trying to push the Larry wrapped around. It didn't work. It was it was horrible. I might as I wound up swimming with a craft bot all the way down the coast. Anyway, whatever whatever level your thrusters are, this is going to work the same doesn't detract from your power or anything and we're going to take gas out of these and move them into the gas storage so we don't lose them when we pull the thrusters I'm pulling the thrusters because I'm going to be putting four bearings up here I've only got two now so I'm going to put four bearings on each post and we're going to take these posts apart. Oh, don't be timid, man. You saved a game, right? Go ahead, do it. He's 106 years old. Give him a break. He's only been playing scrap mechanic for 21 days. He's still learning. Do it. It's getting dark. Just go for it, man. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to take this out. And we're going to put... Uh, tier 3 wood in there just because it's a leading corner okay wood bearing wood bearing wood piece of cake now you, you can do the other side do the other side like Nothing flat, right? You've already done it. You just did it. Do it again. Better hurry. It's getting dark. You gotta go home and eat so you can take your back medicine. Yeah. Let's let's pick this up in the morning when when he's up. Okay, early riser. We got both of our both of our posts with two bearings in them. We're going to put our thrusters back on. And this whole setup is for two thrusters. God, he moves like molasses, doesn't he? Like poultry in motion.
Okay, so the propulsion is, is, is ready. We've got our bearings in place. And basically what we're going to be doing is sensors in the floor with a logic gate and two controllers. The controllers are going to run the bearings. The logic gate is going to tell them how. And the sensors are going to tell them when. And we've also got two sensors for when the thrusters turn off and on. So because I'm going to build a box around this to make the helm or the bridge, I'm going to put the logic block right in the middle. And on each side of it, I'm going to put two sensors. And they're level one sensors. They're, they're in the hot bar, buddy. Well, at least his hot bar goes to 11. And you want them facing up, flush with the, flo with the deck. Oh, he got it exactly wrong. So, four sensors. It's two on each side of the logic gate. And he's getting there. He's getting there. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Okay. The outside ones are going to control the steering. The inside ones are going to control when the thrusters are on and off. And we're going to put a two-block wall around the helm because one block will step up on just like just like you do with stairs where's my where's my bubble wrap i can feel the tension building i'm getting so tense there's my bubble wrap oh good I'll pop some of that and relax so we'll do a double do a two block high wall in front that stops us just as we're over the sensors and yeah the level one sensors set to one we'll go over all of this we'll go over all of this again um, logic gate gets set to or and I'll explain that in a minute here um, but our our sensors are in place. We're building a retaining wall that keeps us from going too far, winding up in the water or sending us in a direction we don't want to go. Speaking of directions we don't want to go, this is one of the most frustrating things. One of the most frustrating things about this game is the building it should be more intuitive than this. Having to flip a block from side to side is, is pretty ridiculous. Anyway, the direction you pull it should be controlling that. Anyway, so we've got our we've got our our little corral here. We're going to put our uh, controllers in, and controllers can go anywhere. They, they aren't an integral part, but the sensors are. Um, and I, I'm just going to put the control. The controllers can go in the front. They can go in the back. They can they can go under the boat. doesn't matter. Wherever, wherever you want them. I'm going to put them up here to be my radar and sonar. And I'm going to put them up here shiny side in because I like all the bells and whistles. And that's not it. Flip it. That's not it. Flip it. That's not it. Flip it. Bingo. Awesome. Make it look complicated. Okay, and it doesn't interfere. We've got no collision here. We're fine. And I've done this in a mock-up. 
just for proof of concept. I've got too much on the sides here. I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this off because it's not necessary. It keeps us from going too far one side or the other and keeps us from going too far forward. Eight hours later, we got two thrusters. We've got four level one sensors and they're set to one and button. Level one set to one and button. Level one set to one and button. And our logic gate is set to OR. Our logic gate is going to going to control our thruster on and off, and our controllers are going to control right and left. So. We've got two different systems here. Our outside, our outside sensors are going to control left and right. And the inside sensors are going to control on and off. So we'll take, we'll take this outside sensor, we'll connect it to a controller, and we'll con connect that controller to both bottom bearings and then we'll take the other sensor outside sensor we'll connect it to the controller and we'll connect that controller to both upper bearings and that's our steering and we'll set the uh, controllers and make sure that they're turning the way we want 180 is really wishful thinking. Not on a boat, my friend. Not on a boat. Yeah, you're just going to wind up going in circles forever. And it's going the wrong way. So we'll run these to 90 in the counterclockwise. And that lets us know that our other controller will go 90 in the clockwise you leave the first space blank zero so that when you're not over that sensor they self-center again okay that will push us left left side of the helm pushes us left right side pushes us right and off the sensors levels them out So, next is going to be our propulsion, our on-off switch, and that's the logic gate. You want it on OR. So, the two inside sensors, the ones on either side of the logic gate, get connected to the logic gate. So, one or the other, not both, one or the other will activate both thrusters. So from our logic gate, we put that onto both thrusters. So both of those inside sensors go to the logic gate, and the logic gate goes to both thrusters. Now we're going to go ahead and load, load our thrusters with fuel again. And... Oh boy, maiden voyage and he gets brave. Look at this. Turn that puppy up. Be somebody. <laughs> Just because you have it doesn't mean you have to use it. Okay, and make sure our gas tank is full. And we got a bunch in our chest here. So we're going to go ahead and connect our gas tank to both thrusters. And 
and that's all our connections. Let's see if she works. We're, t we're we are welded to a post. So, yeah, we got forward, we got off, we got left, we got right. Awesome. Now I'm going to clean up my stuff here. We'll get rid of this relic. And. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, we better cast off before we pull a cleat out of the dock here. There we go. Now remember, this is this is so we can we can transport a craft bot or a refinery bot without having to swim everywhere with it. Turns fast. Look at that. Okay, the boat turns, but my character doesn't. Which means I'm going to have to follow my character with the camera in order to know where I'm going. This is pretty sweet. Little OP. Want to see how hard I can hit? I'm going to give you 50%. Okay, a little more controllable. And I'm thinking 45 on on the controllers is probably going to be better, easier for me anyway. I stand up here and do what I please. Pull the gun. I'm going to have to move those gas tanks. Pull my spud gun. Eat. No interruptions. Awesome. Tanked up. Okay, there's an interruption when I get lateral. That's okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. Let's see how she turns. Yeah, it's going to take some getting used to, but dance, dance revolution, baby. Got a post out here. Let's see how close we can get to it. This is the first time I've, first time I've done this on anything that moved. Did it in a mock-up for proof of concept, you know, and to find out what, what I would need to do this. But I've never, never done it on the water. So it's going to take some learning. The post is over to the left. Over to the port. Your other port, dummy. Okay. See if we can see if we can get in on this. We are gonna go pick up a craft bot and see if we have any collisions in the helm while we're carrying it. Because the whole point of this is to not have to swim with something heavy. And not have to push something heavy on a raft made of Larry's. Didn't even didn't even swap paint there. That was that was awesome. So our Larry's are over here. And if this works, they're all going to the trader. No more experiments on Larry's.
Then there's the craft bot on the Larry raft. There is no way I would make a, a floating base out of Larry's. Not with all the whining they do. Lift it up, no weight. Set it down, tons of weight. Lots of gas just to get, move it around. No weight. Moment of truth. Let's get up in the helm here. Yeah, we go forward. Can we turn? Yep. This is awesome. This is awesome. No more swimming with heavy equipment. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking with a series of pads on posts, I could move my whole my whole lumber mill this way. Using the lift, I could move my whole lumber mill this way. Awesome. Anyway, if you found this helpful, it was worth worth the while. And thanks for watching. Let me know what you do with it if you do something with this. Let me know if you improve it. Thanks again for watching.